everybody and welcome back to Harvest 2020 in Hampshire. It uh, is Sunday afternoon. What is the date? Let's have a look at the date. Um, Sunday the 30th of August and I'm back cutting spring barley. The variety is Laureate. I haven't cut anything since, I'm pretty sure it was Thursday morning when we cut that uh, that little four hectare field and then it started raining and then we had rain yeah we had rain Thursday afternoon and Friday even a bit on Saturday and now we've just got going well I've, I've been probably cut about 12 hectares already this afternoon uh, when we started the moisture was about 17.5 percent I think we're down to about 16 now but uh, luckily we've got the dryer at farm one in the yard at farm one there so we're putting it through that um, yeah I had a bit of an interesting experience. I've literally, this is just the first strike out in this land work. Just going around the headland through that gully. Uh, I actually had to back up because she stopped going forwards. I hit a wet spot and uh, she wouldn't go forwards no more. I had to go backwards to get out of it. So it's going to be interesting to see what it's like going through this bit of gully here. Uh, I've never got a combine stuck myself. I've helped pull one out before, back when I was um, working on a farm over at Guildford in my early 20s. Uh, we had two Masseys on the back of a comp John Deere combine pulling it out of the mud. I think, let me try and think about what year that would have been, 2012 maybe? Maybe 2012? Or something like that. I can't quite remember. If you're wondering what that stuff is there, it's black grass. We don't like black grass, but considering this is a spring crop, that would have had an overwinter chip on that black grass. Sprayed off with glyphosate before we drilled it, and then um, and then it still comes back in the spring. Oh, we're scooping dirt on that side. Go away again now. No, oh, we seem to get through there just fine. No problems. Am I spinning? No, we're fine. Oh, I reckon we've got some mud in the corner of the header there, look. Well, we've definitely got something in there. We'll have to get out and pull that out, I think. Let me just see if I can do the back up. No. I'm going to have to get out and pull that out. See, we got a bit of mud on the tyres. This has happened several times today where, because the ground's so soft, you just start bulldozing mud. It's really annoying. And obviously, the combine doesn't really like mud going through it, so you have to get out and pull it out the header. such soft soil and it's wet. Right, George is coming up alongside in the 6215R with the 14 ton Richard Weston. Somewhere. He's gonna laugh at me now because I got a camera on my head. He doesn't know this. <laughs> just noticed that I got a camera on there. Um, by the way, we've had for August 120 mil of rain, so that is way above average for our August rainfall. Um, so I was just wondering if you guys could write in the comments section below how much rain you had in August and write what part of the country you're in or where parts you are in the world. It's always interesting to hear where you're watching from. Uh, but yeah, so it's certainly made the ground a bit soft. Luckily, it, the ground was very hard and dry before the rain started, so it's not too bad. It's, ha it's been worse.
I think it's safe to say that uh, ground conditions are soft. Put some lights on, shall we? I've just finished this field. And yeah, so that's 16 hectares done this afternoon. And we're gonna go move field now. We might as well do a couple trail loads off the next field. We've only just got to head, drop the header off, move around the corner, put it back on again, and we'll go. So we're gonna do a bit out there. Um, yeah, like I said before, write in the comments section below uh, how much rain you guys have had in August. I know 120 mil probably doesn't sound a lot to some of you because I know some people have had 200 mil or maybe even more. But uh, it'll be just interesting to put it all on a map and you know and compare what how much rain people have had. I'm just going to go back through this gapway in the hedge. Red sky tonight, look. Ugh. Going back on again. It's only been off a couple of minutes. I go up to get over the tyres. Let me drop it down. I can't see, so I think I need to go left a bit. That's it. Pretty sure I've got it. It's kind of hard to see when it's dark. Right, so this afternoon I have cut about 20 hectares and we started at about half two, three o'clock, somewhere between half two and three o'clock. So not a bad little afternoon. This is field number three that I'm in now. So yeah, if it was one big field, I'd probably be on about 30 hectares. So it's just that when you're messing around doing headlands and stuff, it wastes time. So I'm just gonna uh, put this tank load in George's trailer and then we're gonna go home. It's about half past nine, 20 to 10. All right, we just fit our last little bit in George's trailer and then we're going home. I'll see you in the morning. Monday afternoon now, it's just gone midday. Actually, tell a lie. It's quarter to one. So, uh, as you can see, we've got Jeremy's 7710 on grey car because Simon's using the 6150R for uh, tedding out and rowing up straw. Yeah, I can't remember if I really spoke about yields yesterday, but. Uh, getting quite good yields yesterday afternoon in the fields that we're in over the other side of the over the over yonder um, just over the other side of those trees we're in those fields and yeah we're getting sort of like seven tons to the hectare so that was quite good uh, out here it's not so good it's doing about five tons to the hectare um, but I've been told that these fields need lime so they're obviously a little bit acidic so yeah they are gonna have a couple of hundred tons of lime put on them in, in the next few weeks. So yeah, that'll be interesting. I'll try and video that. But apart from the yield, it's going quite well. Uh, it's much nicer when the when the seed beds get rolled because it just leaves it a lot flatter and you don't push much dirt, basically. You push a little bit occasionally, but nothing like last year when they didn't get rolled. 
I was more ploughing last year than combining, but I'm cruising along at 5.2k right now. So yeah, we have got, I worked out, or me and dad worked out that we, this morning, we still had 75 hectares of spring barley still to cut, plus Jeremy, who's on corn cart, he's got uh, 40, I think he said 45 hectares for us to cut for him, spring barley. And then that'll be all the spring barley done. Uh, so yeah, we'll get this, that done in the next few days. <laughs> Looks like rain Wednesday night, so we'll see. Probably get stopped mid midweek. All right, I'm just gonna jump out. I want to have a quick look in the straw, and I'm gonna kick that lot off the off the feeder house because it's I'm not able to see the auger in the middle or even the knife even. So a quick look. I'll stop here. Itchy stuff right there. Not want to jump in that. Right, we just have a quick look in this straw now. I think the battery's about to die again. Because we're going along at about like 5, 6k. Just wanted to check that I'm not losing grain in the straw. There's not much straw. It's very thin. It's warm. No, that's spot on. There's a few grains there, but that's to be expected. Hi guys. Thought I'd do a bit of a Monday evening uh, update. It's getting a bit chewy and the moisture's going up. We're on 17% moisture. Oh, I'm supposed to be loading George as well. Trying to see how much I've actually done today. You can see, I'm not sure if you can see the auger on the header, the crop keeps wrapping around the auger. That's a sign of it getting really chewy. Basically, it's quite chilly outside actually. It's only 10 and a half degrees, which is surprising. I've actually got the heater on. And yeah, basically it's just cold and damp outside, so it's just get, the crop just gets chewy. In this field, I have done six and a half hectares. So let me just do some quick maths. Yeah, so far today I have done uh, 32 hectares. So not a bad little job considering I've been out the, I've been out the cab several times, uh, digging soil out of the header. Because I'm trying to get as low as I can to, um, to get as much straw as I can. And uh, yeah, end up scooping bits of dirt. So it's annoying. And we have to change the knife section, so yeah. Right, that's George's last load of the day. Jeremy's on his way back, he's gonna do the last load. And then we'll make that do for tonight. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll keep giving you updates. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. It is Sunday, no not Sunday, Tuesday the 1st of September. I'm not sure if this is going to be the beginning of a new video or halfway through a current video or what. I have no idea. I'm so, getting a bit behind with editing but I'm getting there slowly. Basically I'll just get up early in the morning and do a little bit every morning and then eventually get the videos out. So, back into the spring barley today. Laureate is the variety. Eric's here. Hey boy, Eric's come for a ride in the combine today. He stayed at home yesterday. Uh, we've got a book here on new combines, new John Deere combines. I'll show you that in a bit. And uh, yeah, so this morning I put 450 litres diesel in the combine. Don't lie down, Eric. Just because I'm talking, don't mean you've got to look at me. He thinks I'm talking to him. 
Um, yeah, so yesterday I cut 36 hectares of spring barley, which is good going, but considering that was in four different fields. Uh, and yeah, so 450 litres of diesel, that's, um, I think it was 12 and a half litres per hectare, so it's not too bad. Uh, what's the, I think 36 hectares is uh, about 89 acres. For those of you that don't do hectares and just do acres. I work in hectares because that's what the farm works in. All our my worksheets and everything comes in hectares, so that's what um, Gatekeeper uses. So we don't use acres anymore. So we've got about 40 hectares left of spring barley up here at Farm 3. I don't think I'll get it all done today because, uh, again, it's in several different fields. This is one, two, three, four, five, six different fields it's in, 100 acres. 40 hectares is 100 acres, so, and uh, yeah, so it's unlikely I'll get it done today, I don't know. We'll see how, if we have a really good day it will, but I didn't start till about half ten. So yeah, we shall see. And then once I get done here up at farm three, that's uh, farm one and farm three done. I've got I've got 40 hectares of uh, spring barley to go and cut at Jeremy's, no that's not Jeremy, that's George, at Jeremy's farm. Uh, yeah, so and then the only thing that will be left then is the spring beans at farm two. store at farm one I actually managed to lose the last bit of uh, video from finishing the spring barley on Wednesday morning up at farm three uh, so I'll just quickly do this quick look around the grain store now to finish this video and I'll show you the spring barley what we've got in store so yeah we finished the 110 hectares of spring barley at farm three on Wednesday morning and then the next video will be us going to down to Jeremy's and cutting his spring barley. Um, yeah, you'll see in the next video. But basically, I started done three hectares and got rained off. So I've got three bins in there full up with spring barley. That's, I can't really see very well, can we? One, two, three hundred tons of spring barley. And now I will quickly go and show you. Go back down the stairs again. Go and show you what we've got in the barn. In this shed, there is 350 tonne of spring barley, Laureate, it's all Laureate, and so that's a total of 650 tonnes of spring barley, what we've got here at, in the store at Farm One, um, 110 hectares, I make that 6.9 tonnes, I think I made it on the calculator, 6.9 tonnes to the hectare, so it's, uh, it could have been worse, it's not a bumper yield, but it could have been worse. Added a bit of stick here, look. The other side's full up with spring oats. There's like 300 tonne of spring oats in that side. So 
thanks for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed it uh yeah like i say next video is going down to jeremy's cutting his spring barley uh yeah i'll see you on the next one thanks very much for watching bye for now